This is the cockpit of the F-35. Two iPad type displays, virtually no buttons in the cockpit, different than those jets that it's replacing. There's less than 20 switches to touch. Everything I need is presented in front of me on these two big screens. I see everything that happens, 360 degrees around me at astonishing distances. And I use sensor fusion, the power of computing, to tell me what's important or not. I'm not the decider anymore as a pilot. I'm not the limiting factor, as was the case in the airplanes that I flew, like the F-16, F-18, or Typhoon. It knows exactly who's out there, whether they're a good guy or a bad guy. It's the easiest airplane to fly of the more than 80 that I have flown in my career. It's easy to fly because that's not my job anymore. My job is operating the information, the knowledge that's presented on the screens in front of me. That's my task and I, I shouldn't be worrying about flying the airplane. No parts of this airplane reflect radar energy, so you'll never see it in the air. And it's not just the overall shape, it's every seam, every panel, every door, every nut and bolt is sealed. And this airplane, when it flies, is infinitesimally small. It's not Harry Potter and the Cloak of Invisibility, but it's pretty darn close. Our bombs and missiles are carried in an weapons bays internal to the airplane, so they're hidden up inside the belly of the airplane. And when we want to fire a missile or drop a bomb, the doors open, the bombs fall out, and the doors close, and the airplane's back invisible again. This engine is a 43,000 pound thrust class engine. It's the most powerful fighter engine ever developed. It pushes this airplane, full of bombs, full of missiles, full of fuel, to 1.6 times the speed of sound, 1.6 Mach, 700 nautical miles per hour, which is 1,400 kilometers per hour. It pulls 9G, uh, and, and it does all of that full of bombs, full of fuel, full of missiles. And that's entirely different than the fourth generation of jets which it is replacing. Those airplanes, when you go to combat, need external fuel tanks to go long distances. They need the bombs that you're going to drop or the missiles put on the outside of the airplane. And when you do that, you create drag, you slow the airplane down, it can't go supersonic anymore, it can't pull maximum G, and it can't accelerate quickly. My airplane does all of that full of bombs, full of missile, full of fuel.